until that right hind leg comes under. Nope, 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 you're coming in too early. No, no, no. Good. 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 Here's your place. Good. She found it a lot faster. Tom Dorrance was um, a pretty short person, born premature, wasn't expected to even live, and I don't think they had any ponies for him when he was growing up, and if he was going to ride, he was going to have to learn to get his horses over to something here, and, and then found out that really a good thing to do with them before you ever get on them the first time. The horse is naturally afraid of you when you're above them. When I went to college, I wanted to learn to ride bucking horses, got on quite a few horses out of the chute, and golly, some of them were real scared, bad. And they, they claim, and I think it's true, that most injuries come in the chute, not out in the arena. And some of them were pretty treacherous to get out on. Hard to saddle and flipping over and all that kind of stuff. And take forever. Use up a lot of time and use up a lot of energy for the horse. And I'd take those horses and the tough ones and run them in the chute and, and then pet on them and just sit on them and rub on them. And oh, they got relaxed. Like um, took a fraction of the time to saddle them and get out on them. But some of them quit bucking when I did that. And if that's all it took to, to, to get them to quit bucking, they weren't going to be a bucking horse anyway. Now the right hind leg's got to come under. Good. No, you got to do better than that. Good. Now just guide this right up here. 